With us in the studio with security as well. Uh, I tell you what, things are so um, tense in here that Darren Bent has had to move seats. News reader. He's going to read the news for us in just a moment. That's because we have to keep them separated. So let's say hello firstly to my right, Fraser Clark. How are you? I'm all good. Okay. All good. Just remember, it's not me you've got a problem with, all right? You can <laughs> smile to me, okay? Are you all right? You well? I'm good, man. I'm good. Okay, good. Uh, Fabio Wardley. Hello, sir. How, How are we? we? Yeah, we're good and very well. Security guys, you all right at the back? Yeah, okay. Don't want to mess with anyone today. I'm actually the weakest person by miles in this studio. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, let's start with you, Fraser. Um, you must be you must be extremely happy to finally get a shot of this the British title after what happened last year. What's going through your mind at the moment in the build up to this fight? How important is this night for you in March? Um, the biggest in my career to date. I mean, forgetting everything that happened last year, just to be able to fight for the British title. You know, it's a it's a big deal for any fighter um, that comes out of Britain. You know, the British title, it means something. Um, something that, you know, it meant something to Fabio. He fought well to get it, and I'm going to do exactly the same. Fraser, did you feel you at the right time, though, to fight Fabio? I thought I was at the right time all along, but, um, you know, the powers that be and, and the people that put the fights together have now decided that it's the time, and Fabio's uh, clawed himself a bit more dough. So, um, yeah, now, now the fight can happen. You um you called him, it was you that called him a coward, right? Last year. Is that right? <laughs> that could have been me. That sounds okay. like something I might have is, said, yeah. This was to do with purse bids. Purse bid gate, yeah. Okay. Um, is, the is fuss he, of it all. Is he still a coward? Eventually, uh, evidently not. He's the, we're having the fight. It's signed, it's sealed, it's over the line. So, no. We're, he's he signed up to get in the ring with me, so no. How real is this? security behind you <laughs> how real is it how did you get here today did you travel in tandem or separately separately, separately. Yeah. everything's been separate you're not looking at each other I really quite like sometimes when when boxers come in they'll get a beef with each other it's like okay I know it's a bit of a pan of mine but you you haven't looked at each other once because this look we I said the same as I've, I've, I've said to him all all week and all the times we've done this for the next eight nine weeks he's my enemy he's I've got no interest in being nice to him and being his friend and any niceties he said the same is war for the next eight, nine weeks. So cool. Game on. Sick of look, sick done. looking at him. All I've done today is I have to look at pictures of him all over the place. It's, it's enough, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Enough's enough. And all this talking, we have to we have to act like, quite accordingly, like I've said before today, I'm not trying to act like clowns. You know, boxing at some stage at the minute is turned into a bit of a circus. I'm not really about it. And I don't think he is neither. You know, I just want to wanna put hands on him. Simple as that. Do you two respect each other's qualities though? Yeah, yeah, we've we've said the same as well. Look, he's he's achieved his feats in in the amateurs, and they are to be respected. And I do. We're not. I'm not disrespectful in that sense, but I don't care for it in any way. It has no bearing on me. I'm I'm here to do my job. Likewise. Let, let me ask you both the same question. I'll start with you, Fraser. You've had less fights. I think like less than half the amount of fights. So, Fabi, you've you've had seventeen. You've had eight, Fraser. How much of a disadvantage, if at all, do you think that could be? And how you turn it into an advantage, that mm. lack of experience? Well, I think it, probably has underestimated it for starters. He's, he's banking on that I've not done enough rounds, I've not got the experience. I think that's his that's his go-to and the fact that, you know, obviously he's done a few more fights and, and knocked more people out and, and whatnot. That's his, um, that's what he's holding himself on. But, you know, not everything you see on paper. It's not all about paper. This is a fight game. He knows that. I know that, you know. Um, it looks great on paper, you know, the 17 fights, 16 knockouts, whatever it is, and I'm only 8 and 0. But, you know, on the night, I don't think it, it'll have anything to do with it. I think we are we are very much the same in experience. Okay, and the same question to you. Double the amount of fights, that must count for, in your head, that must count for so much. It definitely has a value, yeah. It definitely has a value in terms of experience, of time in the ring, of being used to even coming down to doing things like this all, all the way through and, and learning how to manage that on a fight week and and training through it and still let, keeping your focus and being in rooms with your opponent and sitting opposite him and going through all these all these emotions and situations. All of that has built to March the 31st, a headline show of, of me headlining the bill with, with the man across from me. I wonder, and I don't know if you've asked this already, but have you two sparred before or been in the room in terms of in that regard? Yeah, we sparred not long ago. Um, maybe a year go? or so ago. Um, we we only did, it was a very casual spa. We did six rounds, that was it. And we've both admitted there's nothing to be taken from it. Um, I don't think neither of us are, are dumb enough to try and read into that too much and try and say that, oh, well, I got the better of this and I got the better of that because I think that's a, 
that's a falsity. I think people that do that, especially inspiring, they're looking for something that's not there. When you're inspiring, you're you're working on stuff, you're practicing stuff, you're not in your full game. You're in, you're trying to implement certain things. So to um to say, oh yeah, I caught him with a great right hand, inspiring. That's that's his weakness. Would be silly on my part. Uh, people watching on YouTube may have already worked this out, but you've got a T-shirt on that you had specially <laughs> made, and it says, "Who's your daddy?" Yeah. And there's a picture of Fraser Clark in a pushchair mm. and pushing him, mm. dressed as a baby, pushing him. He's bent along. Yes. Okay. Daddy Shalom. What, what What do you make of that? You know, this is this is Fabio's one win. This is the only win he's getting over me. Say, so, and he might, you know, a few of the verbals. He's quite good at that. The social media is quite good at that. Um, but it's the picture which he which he put on um, last year when the purse bids or got taken out of the purse bids. Mm -hmm. That's the picture he put on, and uh, you know, small minds and all that they get entertained very easily. So that's what it is. Who, whose idea was that? <laughs> it's me and the teams. It was me and the, the teams. The so team. Like, I've done. Team. I've done things like this in the past. Like it's just fun and games. Like I'm. I'm here to entertain. It's an entertainment sport. It's a little. It's a little jab. It's a little poke of the bear. It's a little nudge. A little reminder. But it's all fun and games. Don't get me wrong. I don't put too much stock in it. It's just I'm just here for a laugh. Oh, you look can't sell into you. You want to see the state of this fucking team? Look at them. <laughs> can I, can I like a ginger rat. Can, can I just remind you? Bad you know, sorry, twice sorry. the size of me. Just watch the language. Sorry, mate. Sorry. It didn't go out. We got rid of it, but no, just good. be careful. My bad. Just be careful. How much do you think then of this fight will be won when it comes to things like that, or like? Because I'm guessing you could put boxes off before you even get into the ring. How much do you think that will that pay dividend going into the fight? Little antics like this. Oh, none of it. You know, um, you know, like I say, you know, as I'm experienced. Um, and he, he could be fragile the other day because of a few things that I've done on social media over the last couple of years. You know, I probably have bit back a little bit. Um, but, you know, I'm at a place now where I'm I'm hardened and, um, you know, it's all nonsense. I mean, the way that boxers talk is, is by throwing punches at each other, you know, and, and all this stuff that's done beforehand. This is all for you guys. This is all for the public. This is all for them. Um, I know he's working hard. Uh, he, he's a grafter. I'm doing exactly the same. And, you know, that's what will pay dividends on the night. Have you guys sparred before? I hawked that. No, 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 no. So, so <laughs> before, no, before, 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 I meant as like amateurs back in the day when you were kids. He was, he wasn't an amateur. I didn't do amateur. He didn't do amateur. No, but you, how old were you when you got into it? You were quite late, right? I was 21 when I started okay. boxing. Okay. How old were you when you started? Uh, 11, 12. All right, okay. And and when you when you get into the ring for the first time at the end of March at the O2, everything that's happened today and everything that's happened in the build up, does that go out the window? Do you remember things like the t shirt? Do you remember things like that? No, uh, he's just, it's, listen, it's, it looked good on his Instagram later. It's be something for him to tweet about him and him and the team out there and the. Uh, What's your language? Him and him and him and him and the mod mob with you know. The, yeah. I said before you know. Hang the, on, the, hang the, on. The yeah, you know, you, know, you, know, you, you from there as well. Don't start on the Instagram. Hey, are your feet webbed as well? <laughs> no. Oh. Um, <laughs> Can I ask? Could you look at each other now? Yeah, of course. Right, and you. I'll, I'll, I'll let you start, Fabio. Right? Can you tell Fraser how you're going to beat him on the night? Fraser Clark, I'm going to outwork you. I'm going to outclass you. I'm going to outman you. It, look, you're a technically sound boxer, but I think when it comes heart for heart, I'm going to be the man to beat you. Um, and when that doesn't work? I've got more than that in you, my you locker. Bet, you better come with more than artwork I've, in someone. I've got, I've got more than that in my locker. But go that's the go, way out, I go it to read a boxing book, watch some boxing videos. I can give you some good heavyweights to go and watch. <laughs> if you think that you're going to come and just... If you think artwork in someone is going to work, then best of luck to you. I think it might, especially mm -hmm. with you and your gas tank. I yeah, think it so might. far, yeah? I think it might. My gas tank's all right, mate. Don't you worry. How, you gonna, how are you going to impress it? Tell him. I'm gonna do exactly the same as him. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna outwork. I'm gonna outwork original. him. Original, like 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 your t-shirt. Oh, um, yeah, I'm gonna go. No, I'm gonna just just beat him in in every department. How does the fight end for you? Oh, win! I'll knock him out. What round? What do you say? If I said before six, then yeah. I said before six. Before yeah. six, yeah. Um, middle rounds, yeah, six seven. Okay. Once yeah. he's run out of ideas, which which could be sooner than that. To be honest, he's not going the distance, no, never. Okay. I don't go the distance. When when we come back, it's Fabio Wadley. Don't go the distance. Yeah. Okay. I'm, it wasn't me that said it. I, no. I feel like you're going to compliment. <laughs> I'm, I need my own security. When we come back, we'll carry on talking boxing, but we'll get your views on everything that's happening around the world in boxing. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. And also, I think it'd be a good idea maybe on the bill that night at the O2, the two security fellas take on each other. 
Can that be? On the undercard? Who's got the tougher security fella? Oh, oh, he's giving it yeah, up. They're, they're going already. <laughs> my, my security guard's got Fabio's confidence. <laughs> I don't want to get involved. I'm so nervous.